I'm Jessica Gaddeth, and this is your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. We began with a storm targeting New Mexico. Here's Travis Christie. Yeah, and it looks like this storm is moving in fairly quickly. Already seeing some high clouds moving into the four corners, but it probably won't be until tomorrow when we start to see those showers popping up. So, in the meantime, we'll end up with a pretty nice day tomorrow, but increasing clouds, a slight chance for showers into Thursday. Then, Friday and Saturday and Sunday will be quiet. An investigator for the State Racing Commission is now behind bars accused of helping steal racehorses. Stephen Drake is the lead investigator for the New Mexico Racing Commission, but right now he's in an inmate at the Lee County Detention Center. State police say he helped steal four horses from Zia Park and Hobbs in November of 2007. The lengthy investigation found Drake stepped outside of his job duties after getting wrapped up in a civil matter. He's facing one felony charge for being an accessory to larceny of livestock and four more felonies for being an accessory to illegally exporting livestock. Drake is now on paid leave from the State Racing Commission while the agency conducts an internal investigation, which could take a few weeks. Lawmakers start their 30 day session on the budget next week. They're trying to cover a half a billion dollar deficit with a combination of tax hikes and spending cuts. The governor today said he will consider raising taxes on alcohol and cigarettes. Some proposals include adding a dollar tax to a pack of smokes and raising taxes on booze by five cents per drink. Another option is bringing back the food tax, which lawmakers scrapped in 2005. The governor spearheaded that move, and he's not keen on bringing back the food tax in its entirety. The governor said whatever taxes may come out of the legislative session, he wants them to be temporary. He said he will work to make sure any new taxes only last three years. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.